What's up, everybody? It's your boy DC Duh. Oh. Welcome to Hater Nation. We are here with part two of the defense, and I didn't want to put this all in the same video because I kind of wanted to focus that just on that particular blitz. But I'm going to show you the rest of the setup. Most important part, like I always tell you, is in any defense, you always want to have a good blitz. And that's what I showed you. I showed you a very, very incredible blitz that you're going to be able to give absolute fits to people. They're not going to expect it. You're going to get instant pressure. And now we're going to show you the rest of the setup. But before we get in that, just as a reminder, guys, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday uh, over on Twitch, DC to uh, God. Make sure you come out and check your boy out. So let's go ahead and get into it. The other part of this, the, the backside, because just that blitz is not going to get you wins. It is going to create problems, and it should get you an extra possession. And that's all we were trying to do is get an extra possession out of the game because we're going to force them to have to punt. So let's go ahead and get into the other part of this defense. Still the same setup as coaching adjustments. Uh, defensive flip off base and 20 on the curl flat and we're gonna go into the three four uh, and we're gonna call the cover four drop so two I normally predominantly run cover two and cover four I do not run anything else so we're gonna get in the cover four drop so two we're just gonna go with uh, random gun plays so the same thing we did before is we're going to just show blitz. We're going to give him that sugar look and I'm going to move my guy over. If you want to send the blitz out of the cover four, I would not send it in this offensive set. I'm just saying that with the wing stack because they're going to get good blocking off the wing stack. But I'm just going to show you here for the purpose of the video. So same thing, blitz off, okay? When you see that, which was weird because it shouldn't have done it that way, but that's fine. Um, the next thing is because normally they contain kind of funky because it comes out of a contain anyway. Uh, sometimes mad does different if you wait longer. I don't, uh, uh, whatever. So what you want to do is if you don't see this look because it may not always happen, you want to make sure that you hit left on the D pad and slant inside because you want your, your uh, stuff to pinch into the inside. And then we're just going to move my guy about five yards out. And then we'll wait till they snap the ball. As you can see, it's a pretty decent run stopper because we got everybody blocked up the middle. Uh, hopefully they pass this time. So we're gonna go ahead, same thing. We're gonna blitz off. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. As you can see, my guy is still kind of containing. That will actually leave really, really um, messed up blitzes because what will happen is this guy climb, he will, instead of him blitzing where he's supposed to be blitzing, or to the outside edge, he'll blitz here and then he'll kind of come and he'll tap and he'll tap. And it'll just look stupid and you're like, well, why am I not getting the pressure? So what you want to make sure that you do is, same thing, left on a D-pad, slant inside, okay? You'll make sure that those outside edges come. And then my job is to kind of watch the tight end and this uh, guy here for about three seconds, we should get it. I'm gonna watch it and as you can see, we get instant pressure on a screen play instant pressure he can't throw it he doesn't have time to back up this is the split slot same thing blitz all slant inside always slant inside so you can get the readjustments of of the blitzers and you want to have those those guys to, uh play on the outside we'll play here you can see we get the instant pressure we're forcing them to throw quick and that's what's important about a blitz is we're forcing them to throw quick to make mistakes when we potentially could send a zone out there so same thing one more time, we're gonna go ahead and show blitz. And as well, if we blitz all, we reassign the slant inside. If we want it to contain, now it will contain the outsides as well. That's why it's very, very important to slant inside so we can contain those outsides, potentially get a free rusher here. And we'll let him snap the ball. We'll just play my guy like I'm supposed to. He gets absolutely destroyed because they went four out, all right? So that's, that's instant pressure on that. What you can do on the variant, because we talked about the cover two, is when you show that blitz on that cover two, you can leave the zone the same exact way. You can tell them to play uh, underneath. You can tell them to play a cloud, okay? You can tell them to play outside of that cloud. You can kind of do different things, give them a different look, because they're already gonna be thinking fast, and that's how you're going to get them to do that. So 
that is the cover four variant of it. The next version of it is gonna be the cover two man and how I like to run my cover two man. So we'll go ahead and show you the cover two man right there. So this is the cover two man. Once again, we'll just go random shotguns. And what I'm gonna do here, because it's a cover two man, we'll show blitz, give them the same sugar look. But here, what we do is this is a five wide. Once again, if they're running five wide, I would not call a cover two man, but I just wanna show you the setup. So we're just gonna hit Y and put them on the hook curl. I'm gonna play a hook curl, and we're gonna let those, uh, those guys play over the top, shade over the top, and we'll kind of watch the slants coming across the middle because a lot of people are gonna run those slants. This is really gonna be how you're going to get into just absolutely destroying your guys. Now, the next thing is if you're more advanced, you see certain things in the game, you have to be able to change it. So if I was, I would take X, I would man him up on Y, and then I would reassign Y on a blitz. So I'm gonna send the blitz like that because he's closer to his man, he can protect better for the slants. And as you see, they're already on the inside, they're gonna be able to protect the slants. They're not gonna be able to protect deep post, but I watch deep post on the right. If I wanted him to watch deep post on the left, I would just put him in a curl flat because he's gonna play at 20 yards deep. And then if I wanted to play man, play curl flat. That's kind of how I would set up my um, my cover to man that I'm gonna run. I'm not gonna run those, those deep blues. Either I'm gonna run them in a curl flat because they can protect 20 yards deep like I told them to, or I'm gonna run them in hook curls. I'm never gonna run the deep blues because I think the deep blues don't really do much as far as getting to the outsides, um, especially this year with the uh, wheel route not beating man. Now you don't you don't even need the deep blues out there. And that's why I think it's funny, but let's say I wanted to play the, the curl flats because they're hitting me on the outsides. I'll go ahead and play Tremaine Edmonds and we'll go ahead and back up our coverage. I got a plane, he's playing on the outside. And we, we shut down and we give him a five yard game, but we're giving him that quick look. So that is the cover to man version of it with the sugar look involved. Make sure you're getting those two deep blues out of there. And then of course the last defense is going to be the pinch bucko, okay? The pinch bucko. I like the pinch bucko versus the pinch Mike O simply because I think that the pinch buck O with, um, I like to play Tremaine Edmonds. That's just me particularly. So why did my controller disconnect? What the heck? Awesome. The so controller just disconnects in the middle of my video. Somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. Thanks. Love Xbox. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and go back to it. So pinch bucko, and we'll go random shotgun like we did before. So the same thing here, I'm gonna give them the sugar look. Show blitz. We're gonna give them that sugar look because we want this blitz to come in fast. And then what we will do is, is if he blocks the running back, I will blitz. If he goes out in a route, I will go out in the route. And that's the only thing that I'm looking at is my job is the running back. I see that he blocks. He'll have to throw a quick pass. Now, you've seen how quick he threw it with the two seconds. Normally, people's reaction times are not that fast to be able to snap the ball, make an instant read, and throw. Like, that's just tough. So, if you look at it, it's 1-1002. One, one he threw it within two seconds, which is definitely a possibility. He's seen the slant. I had to blitz because my running back blitzed, and they instantly cooked him because they're coming to the insides. But we didn't give up too much, and that's what's important that we didn't give up too much. He knew that the blitz was coming. He was, we got two fresh, free rushers on the edge. We we're about to cook that guy. And that's kind of how that will work. So that is uh, part two of the video. I just, like I said, I definitely wanted to show you how to set up the cover too, how to set up the uh, pinch bucko. Uh, make sure you change the audible so you can change. I need to change them. Cause this needs to be my uh, pinch dog to press and that needs to be my cover four. But uh, make sure that you change those so when you're ready to run, you're ready to run. That's pretty much it for the video, guys. It is your boy DC. Always remember, embrace the hate and hate everybody.